fucking what? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight, tonight, we're coming back to some more Billie Eilish. I've discovered that's how you act. I've had a several fans tell me you're pronouncing it right, Eilish. So, okay, Billie Eilish. Coming back to some more Billie Eilish here. This comes as a request from Fallen Llama, Stinger Smith, and Andre Tretrealt. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, they all wanted to watch me react to Billie Eilish with a tune called You Should See Me in a Crown. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. Do I even know of the song's existence? No, I had not. Not until I started doing Billie Eilish reviews and then I got sworn with this one. Uh, a lot of people are like, you should react to this, you should react to this, you should react to I'm like, great, give me a link. And only three people gave me a link. <laughs> And it was these three people here. There were other people that requested it, but they didn't give me a link, so I'm not gonna count them. So there. Next time you wanna be included, give me the dang link, people. Anyway, uh, I was told when I did my last Billie Eilish uh, video, I forgot, uh, I, I forgot what the name of the song was, but the last one, everybody was like, you should have reacted to the music video. You should have reacted to the music video. And I was like, why? What? So finally, they, a bunch of people said, just go watch it. Don't react to it. Just go watch it. So I did, and I, I got what they meant. Uh, watching the music video did add a lot. It occurs to me that Billie Eilish does kind of write, does not necessarily write her music around the music video, but she I think she writes the songs with the music video in mind so that she can have a visual representation of what she's writing. And I think she does that intentionally. So... I could be wrong, but that's how it seems to me because like I said, when I did watch the actual music video, it a lot of it made a lot more sense. It seeing the visual in conjunction with the audio. So anyway, we're gonna do that here this time. This is the video you for you should see me in a crown. This is the vertical video, whatever that means, I have no clue. Uh this was posted by Billie Eilish, and this video has brace yourself. 214.6 million views. Yeah, it'll get you there for sure. Oh boy. Okay, so nothing more to say. Link to the original video will be down in the description below for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Other than that, let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. Go. All right, here we go. Billie Eilish, You Should See Me in a Crown, a vertical video. Again, I have no, is there a horizontal video? I don't know. I, I just, I honestly have no idea. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Oh, no, that's not creepy at all. I'm sorry, I had to talk about this right now. I, I didn't want to talk about this, but I'm going to talk about it. The hell is wrong with her with all these spiders? Gah! Anyway. Duh! And they're not CGI spiders. Those are real freaking spiders. I mean, 
she had one hanging on her lip and one leg on her hair, and the one on her hair was pulling her hair. So unless they're using wires to make that happen, those are real freaking spiders. Duh! Yeah. Okay. Um, from a songwriting standpoint, I am digging the beat. I am absolutely digging this beat. This beat is great. It has got a great feel, great energy, great pulse. Does it have a lot of drive? Not necessarily drive, but it definitely has a life. It's not just sitting there, you know, pumping away for no reason. It, it has direction. Um, her singing, I, I've always... Her singing is very unique. Like, she's not trying to sing notes. She's... it's, But it's not spoken word poetry at the same time. It, it's, it's in between. There is melody... But that's not her emphasis. She's putting far more emphasis on her voice structure, on her projection. Uh, and I'm going to say this, and I don't, I am not, I can't believe I have to preframe everything these days. I'm not saying this in a bad way. I'm just saying this is unique. Her, her, vocal, her, her vocal projection is intentionally, for lack of a better word, weak. She's intentionally doing that, though, subduing her voice to make it very breathy and weak sounding, which is very effective in this type of a context. I'm sure if she wanted to, she could probably belt something out. I'm sure she could, but she doesn't. She intentionally subdues her voice and makes it sound breathy and weak, and that's good for this type of a song. Again, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm giving her a compliment here, guys, okay? So... It's unique. It's different. Um, anyway, let, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Those spiders, man. God. Ooh, I like the way they She's got tarantulas on her now. They ain't right. Scream. Tell me which one is worse. Living or dying first. Sleeping inside a hearse. I don't see. Baby, I think you're pretty. I'm okay, I'm not your baby. If you think I'm pretty, you should see me in the crowd. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I It's over. Oh, God. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. All right. Well, there you go, folks. Whoo. Jeez. Uh, uh, <clears throat> that was Billie Eilish with You Should See Me in a Crown vertical video. I think I see why they call it vertical video now because it was all like, like that. Uh, that was requested by Fallen Llama, Stinger Smith, and Andre Tetrault. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to give this an overall score, okay? I'm not going to try and break down each and everything. I'm just going to give it an overall score for the overall presentation because that's what everybody wants me to do with these Billie Eilish videos. So, taking the song, the songwriting, and the video all into account, I am going to give this a 8.2. Yeah, 8.2. I feel good with that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay. 
Um, <clears throat> songwriting, very simple, very simplistic, but effective. I've always said simple can be effective when it's executed properly, and this was executed properly. Uh, very well mixed. Whoever did the engineering for this, uh, that's that's where they're getting the top marks from, is the engineering standpoint. Engineering on this was great. The use of the vocal effects, uh, the use of the vocal filters, um, the use of uh, the drum beats and the and the the the, uh, the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not the filters. The um... crap. What's the word I'm looking for here? The the drum effects, basically the drum voicings. Thank you, voicings. Uh, very effective. Very effective use of different types of drum sounds, which was great. Uh, melody very very subdued very in the background which kind of added to the effect of the overall song if you ask me it, it was very effective in that regard uh given that kind of a creepy feel to it which was good vocally like i've always said about her her vocals are different her vocals are not what you would expect from a singer typically she's like walking a tightrope between spoken word poetry and and singing and it's very effective for her. It works really well. And it gives her more of an opportunity from what fans have told me to kind of express her feelings in, in the vocals, which I can see, especially adding it to the video. Now, the video. God dang it. Duh. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Listen, I am not scared of spiders, okay? I'm not scared of spiders. Like, if you were to put a spider in front of me, I'd be okay with it. I wouldn't care. I'd be indifferent. I wouldn't be freaking out. My wife... My wife! My wife hates spiders. My I'm wife! Terrified of them. Every time there's a spider in the house, come kill it! And I'm just like, why? It, it's, it's killing other bugs. I don't care, kill it! I'm not gonna kill it. I'll pull it outside. Anyway, um, so I'm not scared of spiders. I'm a man! I will say though, watching that, it gave me the heebie jeebies. I'm gonna, I'm not afraid to admit, that was creepy. Some of the stuff being done in that video was very creepy. Uh,. I think what really got me was the tarantula coming out of her mouth. I'm like, that's got to be CGI. Please tell me that's CGI. And I thought it was CGI until I saw the, the leg of the spider hit her lip and it pushed down on the lip. And I was like, no! It's a trap. That's a real freaking tarantula coming out of her mouth. That Oh, God. I don't like it, Mike. <sighs> you can act like a man. I'm a man. <sighs> I know a lot of people are going to be like, you're grading this low because of the video. Yes, I'm grading it low because of the video because the video freaked me out, man. Wasn't right. Well, not only that, but I mean, look, the video would take it from like an 8.5 to like an 8.2. Okay, I'm just going to be honest with you. The, the video, ugh, anyway. The song would have gotten like an 8.5. It wasn't, was it a great song? I, I suppose for Billie Eilish and her style of writing, it is a great song. Did it hook me in? No, it, it, I, this, the other song hooked me in more than this one did. I forgot what that song was called. Uh, crap, I don't remember the name of that song was. But the other, the other song I did that's up, you can go check it out. That song got me more than this song did. So, yeah, it, not like I said, not a bad song. Listen, an eight point two. Listen, an eight is great. Okay, this was an 8.2. I have all the respect in the world for the songwriting. I have all the respect in the world, especially, this is where really they got the top marks one, was from the engineering standpoint and the mixing and the production. That's really what got me up into the eights, okay? Uh, like I said, vocally, I'm having kind of a hard time getting my head around her style. I, I am, I I'm trying, I'm trying. And I I'm seeing what people are saying about, she doesn't need to sing, it's more about what she's saying and the emotion behind the voice. And I get that. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it, so. Uh, and then the video, like I said, just, ugh, anyway. So 8.2, final score, I have spoken. Go! Ah! Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hopefully you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. Spiders. If you did enjoy the video and you'd like to see more videos like this, please feel free to join the fan base and uh, click on that button down there. God, I'm so distraught right now. 
Click on that button, you know where the button is. Click on that button, join the fan base, become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like joining the fan base, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, God, I'm still thinking about those spiders. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It will do me a world of good, and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, uh, if you did join the fan base, you will find a bell down there, and there are no spiders in that bell, thank God. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell, and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for today, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other and no more spiders. <laughs> Later. Peace.